Hello everyone, it's Jamie and welcome back to my channel and welcome to Flossmas Day 1, which I'm going to do a quick explanation of Flossmas in this video and then I won't do it in the other videos because I don't want to have to repeat it 25 days in a row and I don't think anyone wants to hear it 25 days in a row. But Flossmas is a combination of Vlogmas, which other YouTubers do, and it is where they make a daily video from the beginning of December until December 25th. And then it's a combination of floss tube, so cross stitch. So you combine it, you get floss mist, and so it's a daily cross stitch video. Everyone does slightly different things there and make it like their own idea of floss mist because everyone has different amounts of time to stitch, everyone has different projects to stitch on, so it's different for everybody. So I will explain my floss mist this year. I will be stitching on an advent ornament, which is from That How To Girl on Etsy. And there are different ornaments that you can pick. So there are older ornaments that only come as a PDF and that is what I got, which I got the chart. It was holiday treats. So that's what the picture is supposed to end up being is holiday treats. And I will be stitching it on this fabric here that I got from my Christmas mystery box from the sewingshop.ca, which is also Kaylee Tent Stitch on YouTube. So this is my fabric. I already found like the middle point. And the ornament is really tiny, so I think the stitching area is only like 30 by 30. And each day you're only doing like 15 or so stitches, so it's a really easy manageable amount. And in terms of other people stitching it, I know that Vani from Thread the Needle is also stitching it, and she is doing a different one than I am doing. So like I said, this is Holiday Treats. She is going to be stitching one of the newer ones, which is called Santa's Helper, I think. So if you would like to see one of the other ornaments being stitched, you can see it on Thread the Needle. I know that I think someone else mentioned they were stitching it, but I cannot remember who it is. So I would like to remember who it is. So if you, if you're, if anyone else is stitching it and uh, leave it in the comments, cause I want to see what the other ones look like. Cause there is holiday treats, Santa's helper. There is one that is, I think more of like a nativity one. And there's also um, one that's supposed to be, I think like a house home, sweet home, I think was what it was called. So. There is my ornament. I will be showing my progress every day on the ornament. And then I will also be starting a new chart. I am starting the chart Christmas 2, which is from Heaven and Earth Designs. It's a chart that I got in 2020, I think it was. And it was one that I got because I had finished a Heaven and Earth chart. They have a program where like once a year they will let you send in a picture of a finish and then they will send you a chart for free. So I had picked the chart Christmas 2 and then I had also bought all the CXC floss for it and so I just never had started it though. So I decided I would start it now. I am starting it on a 32 count fabric, stitching it one over one tent stitch with CXC and I have it fully kitted up in my bag that I got from my Christmas mystery box from the sewing shop, which I love this bag. It's so cute. And it has like a sparkly fabric on the side. It's adorable. So I'll be starting that today. And I think I will be starting that chart in the top left corner because I prefer to stitch top down. I kind of wanted to start in the middle just so I could start with like some fun things. But uh, like I said, I like stitching top down. So I'll be starting that. And I also was going to mention too, that I cropped the chart. So I am cropping 50 rows off of the right side and I'm also cropping 10 rows off the top, which is cutting off like 30,000 stitches. So it'll make it a slightly <laughs> more manageable size. Not really. I think I, it went from like 700 stitches to 650 on the one side. So it's still gonna be huge, but anyways. And then the next thing that I'll be doing every day is every day I'll be picking one of my projects from this advent calendar, 24 projects for the month of December. So my kids helped me pick which projects were going in here. I gave them the list of my projects and they um, got to pick which ones were going in here and which day they were going in. So I don't know what's in here. I have 30 projects, obviously there's 24. So that means six of my projects are not in here. I don't know which six are not uh, part of this flossmas. So day one, I will pick right now. Let me put this down so I don't drop it. So day one, let's pick it out. And it is the chart, Snow Cherries, which is a Maxine Gad chart. That is the same artist as Autumn Harmony, which is the chart that I have been stitching for the last few months. And I will pause the video so I can go and grab that chart. All right, I am back with Snow Cherries and I will show you where I'm at on it right now so you can see you know, what I get done on it tonight. Here is where I am on Snow Cherries. I originally started this chart and I think it was like May of 2020 
and I started it in the uh, top row in the middle and then I worked my way down because I wanted to stitch the red because this chart has a lot of grays and I got tired of the grays. And then in the last year when I was working on it, I started working my way to the top left corner because like I said, I prefer to work kind of from like here and fill out. So I'll be finishing, trying to focus on filling in the gaps that are in this top row right here and we'll see what I get done. This is being stitched on a 28 count, two over one tent stitch. So there's that. And that is what I'll be working on for Flossmas. So every day I'll be picking a mystery project from the calendar. I'll be working on my advent ornament and then I will also be trying to work on my new start, which is Christmas two. And so there's that. I'm also going to be including in this video what I worked on in the last week of November because I posted it on Instagram, but I know not everyone has Instagram. So I also thought I would just include it here real quick. So for Autumn Harmony, which is by Maxine Gad, I had been trying to get to 45,000 stitches complete on this chart and I did manage to get that done. And so here is what she looks like right now. I worked in the last week I worked on getting all the parked threads moved or like stitched in so there's no more hanging threads like which is very nice because the hanging threads were getting really annoying so I worked all the hanging threads in which meant that I was working kind of everywhere I did some stitching here I did some stitching like up in this area here and then after all the parked threads were worked in I started working in this area I worked on her arm which wasn't there before and then I also did a bunch of a 14 right in her hair because that was really easy to just pick one color and then work it in and I'm stitching this on 18 count two over one full cross and I'm really happy so she's at 45,000 stitches complete which puts her just over 25% complete and I have big plans for her next year where I think next year I would like to get to 110,000 stitches complete and then that means that in 2025 I could try and get her finished because I really want her done so there she is that is possibly the last time I will work on her for this year unless she is in my uh Flossmas advent calendar which I'm not sure so we will see and then the only other thing I worked on uh cross stitch wise is the 12 movie nights of Christmas stitch along which I work on in the car while I'm waiting for my kids to get out of school and in the last week I managed to get the border finished so I was working on color 817 I think in the border here and I got it all the way done and so then I started working on another color in the border which is kind of more of like an orangey red and then I also did some of the gold because all of these boxes have gold uh, in the inside the box and then they also have gold going around the entire chart so I need to work on that gold metallic and then I also started two of the movies so I started watching Elf so I stitched on the Elf block and then I also watched Charlie Brown Christmas, so I stitched some of the Charlie Brown block. And so those are partially done, so I need to I'll pick this up again sometime to get those blocks closer to being finished. And here is the entire thing so far. And this is being stitched on 18 count, two over one full cross, and it's fabric that I dyed myself. So that was all my cross stitch projects. And then I also framed two things. So I got the frame finally for Stardew Valley Winter by Glitch Stitch AU. So here it is framed. I was very excited to have this done. And this was stitched on 28 count, two over one tent stitch, which is a half stitch. And it's finally done. Super excited. And then I also got a frame for my advent calendar that I stitched last year during Flossmas. So here it is. This is the advent calendar from Doreen Jones on Etsy. And like I said, I did it last year for Flossmas. So every day during Flossmas, I would stitch one block for that day. And I loved it. It was a joy to stitch and seeing it, like I forgot how much I love it. When, then when I pulled it out this year, I was like, this was so adorable. Um, each block was relatively small and easy to get done, but there was quite a bit of back stitching in some. So it made that some of them take a little bit longer, but it was, it was overall good. Um, this was stitched on a, I think it was either a 16 or 18 count picture this plus in fresco, I think is what it was, but yeah, it's done, fully finished, and now I can put it out somewhere to enjoy for the holiday season. So I think that is all that I have to show for this video though, so I'll be back tomorrow for Flossmas Day 2, where I will show you what I got done on the projects that I am working on, so I will see you all then, bye!